All right, so for today, I wanted to show you this function in Isotope that is really nifty. That took me a while to figure out. It's called find similar event. And the way I'm going to use it today is to uh, reduce some bird chirps in this sound effects recording I made. So just to play a little bit of this, this is uh, something I grabbed this morning. Just uh, car tires on wet road. Some of that gritty action. Um, and um, so you'll hear we've got some birds in the back. Obviously, we got a bunch of city gunk that, that I'm not cleaning out entirely, but we got these birds. Let's listen to this. Let me go ahead and isolate that for you so you could hear it better. Those little guys, we don't want those. You know, tires can exist in the city, but these birds can't exist with these tires because you never know where the project will take place and it's always good practice to take the birds out if you can. So. Instead of manually selecting each one of these and going through the whole, what do we got? The whole one minute recording and finding each one of those bird chirps, there's a quicker way. It's called find similar event. So right now I'm using the, uh, what is this called? The paintbrush? Yeah, the brush. Uh, selecting these birds, like so. Actually, we'll go ahead and just grab one of them. Do, do, do. Let's see, erase. So let's play that. Beautiful. Now we're going to go up to edit and find similar event. Um, so depending on how loud the source is, you might have to mess with the similarity, but um, when using this before, I found that this setting worked all right, point two. So let's say find all. That's detecting similar events. So it took me to the first ones that it found over here, uh, which those would be really hard to find using my ears. And it just selected all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and process this really quickly. And then we could listen to the before and after. So I'm going to use spectral repair. Um, again, these are some settings I found before that worked. Uh, I'll let you use your own settings if you wish, but this worked for me. Some horizontal action, multi-resolution. You, you, you know the drill. You know the drill. So um, applying that to each of those bird chirps. And we'll go over here where there's less of the road noise or less engine noise and listen back. So here's uh, after the processing. And before. And after. Pretty good, right? And, uh, and what I like to do is I like to double check that I didn't, you know, take spots out that didn't need it. So I'm hitting undo and redo right now. Uh, with Command Z and Command Shift Z, um, but zooming in over here, let's undo that processing. Listen back. So they're in there. They're very faint. But if we apply it and listen back, yeah, no artifacting. There's still a couple that slip through. Like it sounds like it missed one right here. I could manually do that, but you know that this technique is just good for getting the you know, the 80, 90%. And then as you listen through one last time, you can kind of manually do the last ones. But I've just found that that saves me a whole lot of time, especially when removing repeated sounds such as bird chirps. So hope that is helpful. And yeah, go make some sounds. Have a great day.